Hey y'all, it's Laura. I always get so tickled talking to myself. Uh, I'm a part-time picker, thrifter, and reseller in Central Mississippi. And this is my first haul video for the year 2022. I actually waited eight days to go thrifting. I did not do any thrifting until um, January 8th. So that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Um, didn't do a whole lot of thrifting near the holidays, mainly because I have to travel um, in order to get to anywhere, really. So, um, we were at home during the holidays. I get about three, three and a half weeks off. And we just I just, we didn't go out a lot, to be honest. So, it had, I kind of had some withdrawals. Um, I don't think, I still haven't been. Um, I don't think I've been to the bins since Thanksgiving, to be honest, which is kind of crazy because um, that's one of my favorite places. But I'm going to show you some stuff from another one of my favorite places. Um, hadn't been here in a while either. Um, this this is, um, I kind of keep this place a secret. It's actually two locations that I kind of keep secret. They're only open um, twice a month um, and only till about noon. So, um when you do go, it's pretty good because they've been taking donations all this time. And um, so they kind of got a good bit piled up and you haven't been in a month, you know, because they're only open twice a month. Um, so I only go, I don't even go once a month. Like I said, I hadn't been um, to this one location since probably spring of last year. So it had been quite a while. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you what I found. Um, I was excited to get to go, and um, yeah, I have to travel about an hour to get to this one location, and not not quite as far to the other one. But anyway, um, so let me just show you. I'm in my living room today, a little different area. So I um, picked up these Crocs. These are just um, some kids, size two Crocs. Um, with the fur lining, so I'm gonna take, you know, a lint roller, and they're, act, they're like, the treads on them are really good, so um, they haven't been worn a lot, and just kind of, you know, get some of the lint out. Otherwise, they're really good. They're kind of a navy with pink, um, almost like an Aztec kind of design. Um, got these um, JBU kind of duck shoes. Um, they are a six, so I guess they're a ladies six, or can be an older girls, um, gray, pink, kind of a duck water sheet. I got these um, Skechers, memory foam, size seven. Skechers memory foam size seven. Saw the stickers on the bottom, like they. I don't, they haven't been worn, period. So they retailed for um, $60. Wow. Okay. Um, I'll actually show you, I'll show you uh, how I got tricked on a pair of shoes too. Um, got some Chacos. These are pink and blue with like some little arrows. These are a size 12, kid size 12, Chacos. I got these Alegrias or Allegrias. They need wiping down. They look kind of cloudy, and I know they're supposed to be, um, you know, have some, some shine to them, like a black pattern. Um, I've, I've sold a pair of these before, this exact same pair, actually. Um, these are a size 36, I can't remember what that is, um, in U.S. sizing, so I'll have to look that up. But these are in really good condition. They don't even look like they've been walked in. They just look a little cloudy. I don't know. Let's just wipe them down. I got these Birkenstocks, and people are like, oh my gosh, you'll sell those? Look at that footbed. This is what Birkenstocks do. This is what they do after one or two wears. Um... Yes, I will sell these. These are a size 38. Um, and I did notice like the soles kind of coming unglued right there and there's a little bit of a crack here. So I may try these on and just 
keep them for myself. I'm not sure yet. Um, I didn't... The prices at this place are really good, so I'm not concerned if I if I come out, you know, if I wear them myself, that's fine. Um, these are Crocs high heels. This is a brown, kind of a brown bronze. It is a size nine. Yep, size nine. Um, what I have noticed, um, these have like, um, I'm not going to say a fabric, but it has like a... Um, a liner on the inside, I guess, to keep like the rubber from rubbing or making a blister or something like that. And there are a couple of spots where it's starting to kind of peel. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue because I, look at them. I, they don't even look like they've been worn. So, um, it's really only doing it on one on one shoe, so I don't I don't know what caused that. Anyway, here is another pair. This is a darker brown with the pink insoles, and these are also a size nine, so it must have been the same person. These don't have that issue, so I'm not, I'm not really sure what happened to those others, and again, I don't think it's gonna make that big of a deal. Um, I just like to note it so people know. Uh, it was a good day for Crocs. It was a really good day for Crocs. Um, little girls size 11. Um, I, I won't call these white because they are clean. I call them more of an off-white. Not really an ivory, but an off-white. I don't think they were ever a bright white. But they've got this cute, this is kind of a textured, almost like a little tile marking or something. I just saw that, I don't know what that is, if that'll come off. Anyway, they're cute, Crocs. I picked up these Sanooks, little boys Sanooks. Um, let's see, they're a size two. Little boy Sanooks, really good condition on those. <coughs> um, Rainbow Crocs, women's size six, men's size four. Good clean condition. Um, a little little toe wear, but other than that, they're really good. And one more pair of Crocs, navy um, slip on. These are a size seven, navy on the outside and kind of a um, aqua turquoisey color on the inside. All right, so let me show you this pair of shoes. <clears throat> let me see if I can find them. I saw these and I thought, oh my goodness, those are brand new Skechers, like almost like a fly knit. <clears throat> and I picked them up. They look so, like they look so good brand new. And I don't know why I looked at the bottom of these and I thought, didn't think, wait a minute, something's different about those. Like they just looked awesome. Did you catch it? What, what are they? <laughs> These must be like Dollar General shoes or something. That is an eight, eight K C E H C R S. And I just glanced at them and immediately thought they were Skechers and did not notice until I got home. Crazy. Um, they're a size 37. Um, I usually wear a seven and a half to an eight. I could get length. They were okay, but width, I don't say I have a wide foot, but I definitely don't have a narrow foot. And like my foot was like bulging out on the sides. So um, these may just go back to a donation pile. They're really, they're in great condition and they're really cute. And I totally thought they were Skechers. So that's, that's what happens when you're in the heat of the moment and you're just like, oh my gosh, look at these, look at these, these are awesome. And you're just picking stuff up and not paying attention. And I'm very guilty of that. All right, so those are the shoes. So let's get into some of the clothing items. Look at this little bubble. Isn't that cute? It's ballerinas and it's smocked. It's got the little tie in the back, the pink chevron. 
and it is from Silly Goose, and it's an 18 month. Just super cute and super clean too. Like if a baby wore this, I don't think they ate in it or anything. Really clean, really good looking. This is a Soft Surroundings Navy. Um, it's like almost like a faux suede. It's super soft. It's a tiered skirt. So, how far back can I go? Um, I'm like 5'3", so it's definitely floor length on me. I believe this is a medium. Yep. Soft Surroundings Navy. Kind of a faux suede tiered ruffle skirt, like a full length. I picked up two of these, yeah. Two of these, one of them has a small spot, but these are vintage um, Disney 101 Dalmatian pillowcase. They're different on both sides, so they're both double-sided. They're exactly the same, so I am listing them separately. This one has a See that little spot there? So I'm gonna treat it and see what happens with it. So I've only got one listed so far. Men's Nike golf shorts. Um, there's one little spot on them that I'm gonna treat also. But they're a khaki, I believe they are a 38. Yeah, men's Nike golf shorts, so that's 38. I really picked this up maybe just for myself just to wear under stuff. It's an American Eagle soft and sexy, size large, gray, just a long sleeve, just kind of a tunic, shirt, whatever. I don't know, just to have, um, I may sell it. This is a Kelly's Kids, let's see. Kelly's Kids, a uh, three to six month navy um, sailboat little nightgown. It is missing the drawstring here, and there is a little bit of a stain right there that I've got to treat. But just really sweet little Kelly's Kids navy nightgown sailboat. Uh, this is a gray fleece North Face um, jacket. It is a Extra, ladies extra small. I'm gonna try to fluff that fleece back up a little bit. It's in good condition. It's not real matted or anything. So I just try to give it some new life. This is another soft surroundings. This is just a knit one. This is not like the faux suede. Soft surroundings medium. It is a ruffle skirt. Um, and it's also a floor length. It's it's got some weight to it also. It's a little heavy. Um, this is a hundred percent cashmere gray garnet hill medium cardigan. Um I have not fine tooth combed it to look for any holes because that's the one thing about cashmere is um that has any little moth holes or something. But just looking over it real quick, there's nothing obvious, but it is button all the way down, cardigan. Um, and it's a Garnet Hill medium. This is just a sweet little um, jacket. It reminds me of Easter and things that my girls may have worn. It's um, Katie and Company, it's an 18 month. It's a yellow. Just a little overcoat. It probably had a dress that matched it. So it's got the, some white trim here. And it's almost like a piquet. Just sweet. Reminds me of when my girls were little. Little spot there that I'll treat. This is a vintage um, Lacoste striped. I was looking for any stains. Striped, striped polo. <clears throat> so, if you remember growing up, um, if you're anywhere near my age, 
At one point in time, La Costa and Izod were all the same, I think. And then one branched off and La Costa got the alligator. So, this says it's a size nine, which if you look up the size chart for La Costa, it says it's a 3X. Um, and I know vintage sizes can be a lot different, but I don't, I'm, I'm not thinking this is a 3X or I've gotten a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought I was. So I'm gonna do some measurements on this and include them in the listing. Here we go, dropping stuff. This is a Hannah Anderson striped boys um, sweater. You know, Hannah Anderson does like the European sizes, so that's a 120. So I'll have to look that up in the size chart to see what it is. Here's another um, La Costa 9, size 9. This is a navy and red vintage striped pullover. Again, it says a three, that, that should be a 3X. I'm not buying that. This is New Tags, um, Adriana Papel, size four. Kind of a lace, hunter green dress. Uh, it hits me, let's see. Just at the knee, maybe mid-knee even. It's got a nude um, liner. It's very pretty. Uh, it is new with tag. It did not have a retail price on it. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. This is a little girl's bubble suit. Um, remember Nigun, Nigun, 18 month. It's a pink, it's got some smocking. Sm is that smocking? Um, I should know. My aunt will tell me for sure. But it's just a little girl's bubble suit. Um, snaps in the middle. Little elastic ruffle at the ankle. This is another 100% cashmere sweater by Ellen Tracy. This is um, an Ellen Tracy green cashmere large. <laughs> in what world? I don't know. But this girl ain't getting in it. I, I don't know if Ellen Tracy makes kids clothes. But this is not a large in 2022. I don't know what year this was a large, but anyway, that'll definitely have to have some measurements included on it. This is Rain Spooner, Hawaiian Traditionals 2X, designed in Hawaii, 100% cotton. Here's the tag. Um, just a men's Hawaiian kind of print shirt. I don't know. I like, I like to pick up good patterns. I just thought these were so cute. Look at that. It's like a little overall. How cute are those? This is the um, Nova Scotia Tartan, um, size two. Cute, cute. And again, I'm thinking that may need to be a small two. I don't know. But that looks kind of small for a boy, for a two. Um, I swear when I looked at this on the rack, it had a tag. I was obviously looking at a shirt behind it on the rack because there is no tag anywhere for size or anything. It's just a mustard um, it's kind of got a little bit of a, a little balloon sleeve and it's just a shirt and I liked it. So I picked it up and I swear when I looked at it, it had tags on it. This is so eighties. I just could not leave it. 
It is a Nutcracker brand and it says it's a large turtleneck built-in puff paint, season's greetings. It's like a cottage house and the Christmas trees and all the white, every bit of it is that puff paint. And the little turtleneck has like some snowflakes on it. Do you remember sweatshirts like this in the 80s? Some of you do, most of you don't. Um, this is that, I don't know how to say it, not even gonna butcher it. Cream, 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 you, cream X, cream. I don't know. I think it's sold at Belk. It's just a blue men's pullover, but I liked the fact it's an extra large tall. It has a little bit of that um, leather detail here, and then it's got it on the elbow, those leather patches. Um, just to have a quarter zip men's extra large tall. Blue pullover. Um, really not sure why I picked this up. Mainly because the tag seemed old, but it's not too old because they haven't been out that long. Um, it's a boys medium. It's a Beyblade t-shirt, but I could tell it was just a, the tag and stuff. It was just an older style and it has, um, the revolution continues down the arm. So, you yeah. know, sometimes you just need filler in your closet. Um, this is inside out. This is a Harley Davidson. Um, it does not have a size, so I'll have to measure it. It's a ladies shirt. And honestly, all Harley Davidson stuff looks tiny to me. I don't know, maybe you have to be tiny to wear a Harley. <laughs> so, just Harley Davidson on the front, and then you've got the little um, Harley Davidson logo on the back, and this says Florida, USA. There's your Harley tag. And I've looked um, down the sides and stuff too, and the size is just missing, I think. This is Lavender Blue is the name. A great little Easter dress. It's a pale yellow with a white bib collar. Um, some little white stripes here and then just yellow and a little bit of a white detail here, almost like a little lattice work. Um, just a really cute girl's dress, great for Easter. And thinking the size is missing on it also. So it will also get measurements. I swore I said I was gonna quit buying stuff that didn't have sizes. And I just get caught up in the moment and forget to look. All right. Let's see, where's the top? This is a Jodiful, Jodiful medium white floral dress, um, knee length, little ruffles at the bottom, um, little ruffle bell sleeve kind of here. It's a cute little spring dress. It's got these two spots, and at first I didn't notice it. I thought it was just part of the pattern, but I have decided they're two little spots, so I'm gonna treat those and see what happens. Um, ladies, green Carhartt pants, um, carpenter pants. These are, um, a made in the USA. They are a ladies size four. The length is 32. So kind of just an army green ladies Carhartt pants. Um, not everything in the floor. Um, nothing great, just a Patagonia, um, green, zip-up, fleece. It's a ladies' medium, cinchilla. Okay, let me get everything off the floor. 
men's Liberty overalls. This is the brand that my granddaddy wore. They are a size 34 by 30, really good condition. Um, not a lot of fading or anything. Doesn't look like they've been worn a whole lot. Here's another little bubble. I think it's an 18 month also. The watermelons and the little ruffles on the booty. Cute, cute. Um, just a little crisscross, yeah, um, uh, straps on top. Just really cute. It's by Banana Split. Let me check the size. Yes, it is an 18 month. This has got some staining that uh, I just honestly didn't pay attention to, and I'm gonna treat and see how it does. But it's a Tim McGraw and the Dance Hall Doctors. It's a 2004-2005 um, Live Like You Were Dying shirt. Um, and on the back it says McGraw 04. So it's, it's got a few spots, nothing just too, too bad. Um, but, I am going to treat it. This is a size medium, and you can see it's official Tim McGraw. This is a 2T Black Columbia jacket. Need to run over with the uh, lint brush. Came across several um, Columbia, so here's a yellow short sleeve vented extra large. This is a blue short sleeve vintage. This is the Omni shade. This is the lighter weight extra large. This is like the Columbia blue extra large short sleeve vintage. And this was a checked Columbia extra large. Uh, just a button up. No, no venting or anything like that. This is um, maybe a navy check. So all those are extra larges. And this was hanging with it and I think they just thought it probably went together, but this is actually a ladies large, white Columbia vented um, button front shirt. So that's a ladies large. All right, this is an MG. I think it is a small, floral romper um so you've got the shoulder and then the open sleeve and then it ties at the cuff here so it's open sleeve here and then the shoulders crisscross front romper shorts short romper um g size small this did not have a brand and it's an extra large i just thought it was a pretty dress um Trying to see. It almost felt like linen, but it's not. It's just a black. Look at the embroidery though on that. Isn't that pretty? It almost reminds me of one of those um, Mexican dresses, you know? So that, um, that hits just above my knee, just above my knee. All right, this is another MG small navy floral with some lace work at the top. Um, I, I guess, I don't know if you call this a dress. It's just above my knee. Um, and it kind of has a, a, a bit of a keyhole back. So that's the back. That was an OMG small. This is an MG uh, two, yep, two X, kind of a green tie dye blouse. So the tie dye part is sheer, and then you've got this solid green under that hangs a little bit lower than the tie dye part does. So it's an MG two X. I picked up two neckties. This is a Benjamin James. It's got dogs and ducks on it. It's 100% silk. 
This is a um, Land's End 100% um, silk. It's got like a guy fishing, it's got ducks, it's got fish. I don't know, I just thought they were different. I thought I'd pick them up. All right, let's see. Vintage Barney pillowcase. It's the same on both sides. Um, and it is a 1992 pillowcase. This is a Kelly's Kids um, pants, floral. I think they're a 10. Yep, size 10. Pink and brown floral, and then here's the ruffle bottom. Just super cute for spring. This is another Kelly's Kids lime green polka dot. I think these are a seven. So, polka dot, ruffle bottom, lime green. Um, I wouldn't call them Christmassy. Not, I mean, I think you could definitely get away with these for spring because this is like a pink, like a, light, a bubble gum pink, a hot pink, a white, and then a lighter greeny kind of yellow dot. So I wouldn't call those Christmas. Um, Matilda Jane Purple Stripe, size six. Purple Stripe, tiered ruffles on the bottom. Matilda Jane. This is a Matilda Jane pair of pants, ruffle pants, floral, size eight. They have the cute little pockets. So you see the button here and the tab over here is missing its button, but I think that's okay. A little bit of a ruffle at the bottom, size eight. So Matilda Jane was not really a thing when my girls were small. And I don't think these two pieces go together, but the, the belt part, the sash part, matches this material, but I just don't think they go together. It's kind of an orangey top, a strawberry bottom, and they're a size eight. It's a size eight top. I just, I don't think you would put those together, but that's just me. I think I've got this sold already. I've actually sold um, three pieces, I think, already. I sold a Jessica Simpson yellow long duster. I sold a Vineyard Vines Little Girls kind of a polo dress and um, a gray torrid blouse. So this is a gray extra large Columbia vest. It's kind of quilted, not puffy, just kind of got some quilting and um, the fleece around the neck and fleece on the sides. Nice deep pockets. I think I actually have that sold. This is a Kelly Kids blue check, medium size seven, eight. That'd be great for Easter. It's really cute. This is a girls Columbia medium um, windbreaker in really good condition. Doesn't, doesn't really look like it's been worn at all. The cuffs aren't dirty or anything. Yep, looks really good. More stuff on the floor. Have mercy. Um, blue pepper, large, let's see. I'm looking for a fabric. It says nylon and rayon, but it has kind of that linen feel, kind of an off-white ivory blouse. Um, kind of cropped, ties at the waist, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty and it was clean. So. Um, this is my second members only jacket and I haven't even sold the first one. But, you know, it was just such a thing in the 80s that people talked about or the early 90s. I can't really remember. My decades start to run together. Um, I hated to leave it. Man's extra large members only jacket. <laughs> Fun. I do, here again, this is me not paying attention. So I picked this up. It's a green 
full zip jacket, Green Bay logo, right? Right? Green Bay logo. Men's large. It's a Dunbrook. And then I get it home. And it has this patch on the sleeve. An SI. So, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't appear to be stitched. It appears to be ironed on. I don't know what that means. I, I don't I don't know anything. I don't know if a school was like the green something and they used this as their logo. I have no idea. So I don't know that I'm gonna be able to sell it with that. Tell, tell me what you think. Is there a way to get off an iron-on patch? I, I have no idea. Um, I have mixed feelings on this also. But I figure, you know, there, there's somebody. This is, um, so if you've heard about the Sturgis Bike Rally, well, we have a Sturgis, Mississippi also that does a bike rally. So this is a Sturgis, Mississippi, um, kind of a duck canvas, biker design, extra large, um, you know, kind of the tattered sleeve here shirt. So it's got the eagle. It says um, Sturgis, Mississippi, 2004. But, I mean, you can see where... Um, where some concerns lie because um, it does say, you know, Dixie, Confederate States of America, and of course it has the Confederate flag. So whatever your feelings are about that one way or the other, um, somebody may want that. This is a vintage Ole Miss M Club jacket. Um, it is by Sport Chief. It is a medium. It is made in Memphis, Tennessee. And it has M Club Ole Miss. Just a nylon jacket. Cool, right? All right, let's see. Sears, medium, made in the USA. And I know that back when they made that, they didn't know what shackets were, but I'm calling this a shacket. You've got your blue plaid out here. You've got some quilting in here. Um, just a nice, you could have a vintage shacket. You could have a shacket before shackets were even thought of. And another vintage <clears throat> Ole Miss piece. Um, Mississippi Ole Miss, it's got Colonel Reb on it, which is hard to find nowadays. This is a adult large, look at that tag. TNT. Some of that stuff is hard to come by now. Um, let's see, I got a few more things. This is a hobo style hobo purse. Hobo. Um, we got a pocket out here. Um, and cell phone pocket on the inside. Um, sunglass pocket maybe on the inside. And one, two other small pockets. The lining is clean. It looks good. <coughs> There's a zippered piece out here. Um, little leather pull right there. Um, it's got the hobo um, emblems here. The hardware is all good. You just got your kind of your basic um, signs of wear. You know, just... A little fading on the insides of the straps. Um, a little bit, just a touch, not too bad. Um, just a little wear on the bottoms, but not bad at all. I, I can't decide, am I calling this pink? Am I calling it coral? Maybe salmon, maybe salmon is a good color for that. And this fossil almost a bucket style um it's got two here um 
Let me try to wipe that down. That looks a little dingy there. It has one little spot on the bottom right here. Um, magnetic closure, cell phone pocket, another pocket, and one good deep pocket on the inside. The liner's clean. Nothing's been spilled in it. It's not dirty. Good hardware. Um, just, you know, a nice spring purse, fossil. <coughs> pick up a lot of toys because I don't know a lot about toys because my kids, my girls are almost 20 and this is a boy's toy. I've got his feet. I've got his head. Um, he opens and there's like, I don't know, a house or something in him. I really, I've only opened him once. I really don't know that I know how to open him to be honest. But I don't, I don't know. But it's a Ninja Turtle, some kind of house. There's like rooms inside it or something. So I gotta put his head on, I gotta put his feet on, but you can kind of see on the inside of the feet, there's like some little cages and gadgets and stuff like that. I don't know. <coughs> Just trying my hand at something different, something new. Um, not that I even have room for it, but whatever. All right, so that's the first haul of 2022. Um, I said I was going to do amazing things this year and, like, give you actual what sold. And I'm still working on that. And I was also going to do a video of my top 10 sales of 21. And I've actually made the list. Just haven't done the video yet. So, you know how it is. All right, we've been rambling long enough. If you saw something that you are interested in, um, some of this is listed, most of it is not. Um, so, shoot me a message. We can work something out or check out my pages and everything will be up shortly. Y'all have a great day.